Welcome back, everyone, to your weekend edition of MEC Valorant. We just finished watching Ohio Northern University 2-0 Cornell College. And here we have our match of the day, even though I don't know if it's officially our match of the day, but this is going to be a banger, which is Clark University against Briarcliff University. I'm still Mechatronic. To my left is still Tucker. Um, you ready for this, Tucker? <laughs> I am absolutely ready. Clark University and Briarcliff University, the two teams that went one and two back in the round robin format of the land. Clark University going six and one, Briarcliff going five and two. So yep. these are statistical powerhouses coming into this game. If you uh, don't remember, if I look at the bracket, Clark University was actually a grand finalist yep. of the. Group one bracket back at the land. Meanwhile, I'm looking for Briar Cliff. They uh looks like they actually they, they went, went out, out in, the in the first round <clears throat> at, in, yeah. in a crazy upset against Miami. Yeah, they went out in the first round against Miami. But we we watched Briar Cliff through the group stage, right? And they didn't start off particularly strong, but they got rolling when it hit towards the end of day one and definitely through day two, picking up, uh, starting off 0-2 and, and then picking up 4-0 and o for the rest of, uh, 5-0 and o for the rest of the group stage. Um, it looks like we are about to get into agent select, though. And the first map is going to be bind. You've seen quite a bit of bind over these past couple of weeks and i mean i am absolutely for it bind is one of my f not necessarily one of my favorite maps but i definitely do like it quite a bit i would say i would say it's probably top five it's incredible to cast i mean when these teams know what they're doing and these two teams absolutely do it is insanely fun i think that bind is one of my favorite maps in valorant because it's it the gimmick isn't so incredibly gimmicky if that makes sense right the teleporters i feel like there's a lot of cool strats that you can use with them right you, we've seen around the world being used to a degree on right you just like double teleport um and it does some really cool things and the omen interaction with it that we won't see this game is really fun there's some chambers in this game he used to be dead and now he is alive again chambers back we didn't really talk about anything important during uh, Agent Select, but a uh, quick rundown from the team. Both have Chambers, both have Vipers, both have Skies, both have Raises, and the only thing that changes is that Johnny. secondary controller role. So uh, Astra for the attacker side of Clark University and Briarcliff University will be rocking Brimstone. I, I feel like for a secondary controller, I like Astra a little bit better. If there's only one, it would absolutely be Brimstone versus Astra. But talking about Astra, Astra's completely taken off of the map. Kane going to try to get that trade off, and Hariri will just teleport right on back to safety. Oh, he's got get another. Another frag on the Ooh. site, taking down Drona. And this is a really nice start for Briar Cliff. Yeah, and then this is our your your helper tool here from the Viper on either team, right? Is that, hey, you can just lock down One all the enemy side remaining. entrances. This map is so Spike good for defense B. with Viper. Um, you can just kind of lock down whatever you want. That's the spike down, too, and they see it. Uh, so Kanochi is watching it. I got the spot. Could have just spotted, but definitely saw the shots from Scarecrow. Pull just going to live here. Blinded. Teleport through. Milk should be here and ready to go. One shot, can't get anything, runs away. Progression in going through. 30 seconds left. A little weird there on who sees who. Milk trying to go to the Flawless. corner, but now four people peeking right into Scarecrow. That's going to be in the round. Flawless pistol, best you could have asked for. Keep that fire, yeah? Really couldn't ask for much better. I mean, it started off with a fantastic shot from Hariri. So talk about starting off a round in a perfect way. It was one shot and one kill from the top of B long. And a not good finish for Clark University. They simply could not get anything up and running. So now we go to the Focus second now. round, the anti-eco. Respecting 
Hariri to decide to buy up, but actually they're just gonna stick around with a classic. They they must be really confident in their headhunter abilities. Yeah, they bought eight bullets into the headhunter for this round. I love this play from Hariri, by the way. I'm just sitting behind this uh, this toxic screen. If anyone from Clark pushes up, then I could be instantly dead. Toxin screen down. Doesn't look like they will. They 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 poked and prodded for a second. Freight's gonna grab one with the Guardian from on top of the truck outside U Haul. Hang's gonna get that trade back. Milk takes down Ain. Gun here. Yeah. It looks to be a A side execute. It's going to be. However, BZU is not giving them an easy time, but then we got one sheriff on the side of Clark University. That's in the hand of Kang. While Briarcliff is holding down the A site, the chamber is still kind of lurking over there, B, just in case they decide to rotate. But at the moment, BCU is holding every single escape angle, and there's, yeah, there's... no way that you can get no, out of there. No, there's the Guardian popping left. off yet again. Headshot to Kang. Still alive is Milk. Blinded. Time is starting to run a little bit thin as the Guiding Light comes out, but there's only 20 seconds to go, and there's a Molly on default. Yeah, this is uh, Konichi sitting right inside of this uh, Astra smoke is really standing. hard to deal with. Tony grabs soup. That's the final kill from Konichi. Four alive is, you know, that, that's a win right there. Uh, you, you have to deal against sheriffs and other stuff. So here's your first get real gun round, right? Um, and the one gun that did die, which was Freight with that Guardian, that Guardian did get saved over and just chucked right back onto Freight. Bonus round. Definitely favors Clark University. That's how the economy goes. But BCU has played this really well as they have enough money to get them over to the next. So even if they lose this round, lose all five of these players, they will be completely fine. But they are fully intent on not losing this round now, considering that they push as heavily as they did. Only able to get one, which I would have expected them to get a lot more out of such an aggressive play. Yeah, three for one right there. Zorona grabbing the two kills and uh, one enemy remaining. grabbing the other one. Ain is going to be able to take down Konichi. And it's just all left onto Tony. He's not going to be able to do anything. You you push here because you know you're dying and you're buying next round either way. It doesn't really matter. See what Tony's going to do. Double shots through. And Soup will end up taking down Tony here. So, 2-1. We're already looking at a little bit of a closer affair than the last match we watched. That we are. I mean, there's two to one. We did not see a scoreline like this. Actually, I think we did map one. The bonus round went the way of Cornell. But ever since the bonus round onward, it was just everything going the way of Ohio Northern. But back to this match. This one looks yeah. to be really, really close. It's a gun round. Both of these teams. Hariri has an operator. A gift. That's, that's see, new. <laughs> that is new. We have not seen an operator yet. Can't believe it took a whole series, but yeah, <laughs> it did. Yeah, so Hariri's looking towards just this A main area to see if he can spot anything. Won't see anything because they're playing real far back. They haven't decided to push anything yet. They haven't decided where to go, and Soup's going to chuck out the first couple of uh, stars. Hariri did miss, though, that operator. Milk's got a couple shots through the toxic screen. Tony's going to try and molly off Spike the default, planted. or at least somewhere close, to prevent them from doing a huge amount of over here. Vantage for CU, and Kang's going to extend it a little bit further. Hiding in the box, that is wall bangable, so Kang has got to be careful. Gun gets standing. seen, but the swing comes out, and Freight can't land the shot, making a triple on the round for this Viper. Viper going crazy, only one orb away from the ult. I, yeah, they didn't pick up the operator there. I'm, I'm a little confused by that. Um, you, I generally, you think that they, hey, uh, that operator is a pretty good tool that we could use to, to get an opener into a site, but they decided to go without it and we'll see how that goes, um, for them. Uh, there's no operator to, uh, like look at on the other side. Um, Briarcliff here isn't a full ego, so we'll see how... We'll see if they can get anything here, take a couple guns. That's kind of what they're looking for. I, and I feel like that's exactly the reason why they did not pick up the option. Because even if everything hits the fan and they somehow lose that round, it's going to be detrimental either way. 
but it would be near monum near a monumental loss if they lost an operator. They knew that Briar Cliff was going to be on an eco, so they just wanted to keep the op Spike away planted. because crazy things happen sometimes. Sometimes even the best teams in the world get ecoed. Yeah, I mean, like I get ecoed all the time, and I'm playing that, right? world. and obviously I'm part of one, you know the best teams in the world. So that's that's how this I've, works. I've seen you around. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so Tony and Hariri are the last two alive here. Uh, Hariri will lose literally nothing by going for this, standing. right? All of his weaponry is pushed into his abilities on this headhunter. So trying to see if he can spot any exits, but nothing going to really be. They'll have a buy next round either way. That's just kind of how this works. So we'll see in the first real like buy v buy round uh, in round six of this game. We'll see. How everything really starts. Hariri wants to make sure that he dies. And, uh, attackers up three to two. Clark University. Wants to get that ult orb, because I believe that Hariri is only a few orbs away. Yeah, four out of eight. So four, four orbs. I mean, if they go crazy and get an, a casual op 4K, then they might just have a shot at getting that either this round or the next. Seed is in favor of Clark University, but BCU, they have the op in their hands. And Hariri, last time they had it, did not work out as well as they wanted it to, but let's hope this time is a little bit different. Show that the top. Oh, my nice goodness. shot there from Hariri to take down the cop attack to start. Breaking the take down Scarecrow, and there's the showstopper going through. Won't kick anyone. Enemy Couple down. of fancy footwork there. But it won't Slayer stop Tony from getting the shot. Yet two Spike shots. Down, Rona B. and Sue both going down to Tony's Phantom. The Phantom headshot. The dink. It's only good for 140, leaving Kang in a one versus three. Vandalin hand. Almost all the utility you can get. The Viper Wall was already popped early on in this round. So there's no redirecting that. The Milk will get the last shot. No damage taken from Milk. No damage taken from Chamber as well. Can't say the same about Tony. Can't say the same about the entire team from Clark University, right? Uh, they really can't. They, they all went down there. So that's, that's your first buy v buy round there. Taken, and it felt pretty handily by Briarcliff. Yeah, they did not struggle too much at all. I mean, they had a couple of uh, close calls. Clark University did almost able to get more kills than they actually got. Comes to mind, Tony getting digged with the Phantom. If that was a Vandal, would have been a kill. So you can make that decision if you want to. Flash comes out, fantastic play. That Freight. would have also been a kill right there. It would have five HP left for Freight, but no cigar. Five players still up for BCU. Ooh, this rod just got a lot closer because of that, right? Freight is on such low HP, or was on such low HP, that it made it really hard for them to be able to be aggressive with Freight. But Konichi's going to go down the other side of the map from Zorona. Zorona actually with two milk and Konichi. That's the healer gone. There's Freight with his found new HP. We'll be able to take one down Zorona, but no free, no frag onto Ain as well as Ain gets for the trade. Side plant going down. One man disadvantage on this route. Briar Cliff getting peeked out by Ain. Tony gets spotted, and now here comes the utility, the Astra Smoke to deny, to de to deny and delay. Spike is ticking down. If they got, if they want to go, they got to go now. But honestly, it looks I, like they are not too intent on it, which is understandable. I think we should copyright deny, uh, delay and deny. I like that. Can we can we get that? Prod, can we get that? Can someone get that trademark for us? One enemy My remaining. Hyper, please. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> all right. So Tony and I believe it's Hariri uh, are going to be saving in the spawn. Kang's going to win that round there. Four. No Clark University up that. four three. This is close. This this has the makings, the feelings of a close game. I mean, it really does, considering what happened in the last game. It went 2 0, a total of three rounds given up by Ohio Northern. They've already passed that for each team. Unless you see you, then they Passed tied or it. Equaled, yeah. Pass or equaled, yeah. <clears throat> but definitely six. not less than. Definitely up. not less than. No, no you want way. To fight it. 
round eight, and out comes the Cosmic Divide. This is what I like to see on Bind. This is a really good ultimate, and this is exactly how you're supposed to use it. Cut off the back half of sight because you don't need all of it. All you need is the front half and just get that spike down, and that is exactly spike what Soup planted. will attempt to do. Welcome to my yeah, so even world. with that round win there, Carlton, uh, Carlton, <laughs> Clark University is on this, like, weird kind of little eco buy, right? Soup's got a weapon, but others don't. So it's a little weird here the way that they're playing this, um, but the Cosmic Divide is just going to be kind of a thorn in their side. Viper's pitch should help them get back into this. Nice kills. My. Ain's got a lot done already this round. Kang's got another one. The Viper's Pit is what is helping them so much here. One enemy remaining. Ain's oh got one on has got full health in the corner. Won't be able to get anything. Ain with three in the round. Five to three for Clark University. Ain dies to the spike. Barely, though. And would you look at that? BCU forced into the eco crisis. Only. Freight gonna buy a Vandal, and then they even they decide to sell it up for a Guardian, and they buy it right back with a Vandal. Looks like we have some indecisiveness, but you I know think what? it was probably a drop. <clears throat> that's Ooh, for nice that's for throws. them to decide. I not one hundred percent sure. No, I don't it, think they have any money. No, I, yeah, no. I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not I, sure. No money for Clark. They're they're broker than an average college student right now. Uh, Honestly, yeah. All right, let's see what Clark will do with these weapons now, though. They are not as broke as Briar Cliff is. Um, the Tour de Force is already out. I love the aggression here from Hariri. Looking everywhere, looking all around, making sure all the spots are getting checked. But it kind of forces Clark University to go towards A, even if they don't realize it yet. Yeah, they made the quote-unquote right the... decision, but... We'll see how right it is. Great. Looks like they're gonna try their hand. They get one. Looks down. for more. Five gets it. Down and a third. Last player Th that was the hero rifle that went into the round. That was the only gun that they brought in, other than like other than activating Chambers Tour de Force. This one Vandal was all left. that they had, and it's just it has worked so well. He th isolated three different one v ones there, right, and was able to win each one out on its own. Great, can't land those shots. Doesn't matter, however, the intel is already given up, so there's not much more needed. Nice shot through the wall. Soup grabs one, tour de force, does get in use, able to find one frag, and it is the winning frag. And just like that, now there is more rounds than the entirety of last series in this first game. Yeah, I expect here to see that we we will see uh, I should play some Astral Stars Clark in this University reality. here probably activate the showstopper to try and make some space. You see Zerona has already bought in the judge um, while having enough money for Vandal or Phantom. So I expect to see a showstopper come through here. And Race, depending on if Clark get on site, I think we could really e easily see you that overall play? strike Let's come play. in to try and prevent it. I, I did not expect the Tour de Force to come through here. Um, full buy up on Ain ahead of this round. Zerona will whiff the ultimate break reps too early though against Clark. Here's the orbital strike going through to try and prevent any more movement on the site. A lot of alts being executed on this round. Yeah, there is. There's so many. So Ain's two of them. Ain sold, by the way. That's what it was. Ain, oh, what a nice shot from Riri. Down, Ain sold the uh, the Vandal that they had, and they just bought the Stinger at the end of the day. And that's why the, the Headhunter and the Tour de Force were activated. It was just to help for money for the next round a little bit. Hariri's water just ripped that off. He is going to take down Ain coming around the corner. 5-5 five to five tie game. I mean, they, they saved up a little bit. They switched off of that Vandal and Stinger, but they still decided to invest two ultimates into the round and i mean i i understand if it were a full buy round like if they stuck out with that vandal and they wanted to keep with that tour de force and then also the showstopper but on an there. eco even if it's just like a little bit i do not feel confident in investing that much ultimate ability into a like a single eco round i'm not a fan 
Yeah, that was a, there was a lot put in through there. And the problem is now that they don't, like, they have some money, but it's kind of weird on the way that uh, Clark has money. So I would have loved Smoke to see the Florida portion. You want to fight it! Instead. Oh, nicely done by Tony. Able to take so much damage to the enemy team through this cosmic divide before it went all the way up. Kang now has to go through and help. But Konichi's used the Viper's Pit to just fully lock off a main. Oh, really oh, good shot for Konichi, but did not see Kang go through. Nope's gonna flash through this orb. And take down Milk as well. Tony will be trying. Get some use out of his own stim beacon, and it looks like they're going right into Hariri. Hariri was really good last round with this off with doing anything more with it. Seeker's gonna come out. That will spot out there. Oh. Headshot through the wall down to three oh, points of health. That's disgusting. The flick is that nice, is but it's down. not enough. No. Or maybe it is. Hold on a second. Hariri gets a double kill, and Tony last one left alive in a one versus Spike one. Planted. Low HP versus medium HP. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's like 85 points versus 55 points. It's so evenly matched across the way. And Scarecrow's been seen by Tony already. Launching smoke. Sky smoke gonna get dropped down. Do it. Spam Smart it. Spam bots. it. Spam it. Spam it. Tony's not gonna. Tony's playing this very well. Yeah. Doesn't check the angle. Pros don't fake, but pros also swing. Soon as Last they know when the to. And Scarecrow had that spidey sense tingling. Swung at just the right time, winning that round out. And the potential to go into the halftime with a 6-6 six, six scoreline is very, very nice. On Bind, which is typically, Here. historically, defender-sided, I would have preferred to see a little bit more going the way of BCU. Yeah, I would have I would have hoped. Um, we'll see how it turns out on the other side. I mean, we've seen some great shots here from, like, Hariri and Freight have been incredible on this defending side already. Uh, not that the rest of the players haven't, but... There. Those, those two have been. Nicely done by Frey to take down Ain. It was a one for one trade, and the ultimate was used, but at the end of the half, who cares? Hariri's able to take down that first shot onto Kami. Hey. Konichi's able to take down Zorona. This is a lot of kills going no, really no quickly Viper. towards Briarcliff. Tony's left with just a sheriff. This is not the best gun to have, and I mean, if they had a fan, they might have been able to win that one out. Draw it off the crosshair, so it would have been difficult either way. But the spike's going That's to go down vision. in default, or I guess it's in second default, safe box. It's not so Little safe, he can absolutely be wall banged, and that's why Soup gets out of dodge. But now BCU starting to push them up, forcing them back in the shower. The pop flash comes out, the dog going to delay a little bit, a double flash, almost a double kill. But Astra manages to stay alive. The op's still out. Has to peek. Is Hariri. And it's Soup Excuse that me, peeks. Working. And Hariri lands the headshot. Not even needed. Yeah, Hariri was kind of in the position of power there. Soup had to peek Zeno because the way so that... Dead. The way the Barracoot Sky was playing, it was, Switching hey, sides. you never know. They, they tapped the spike while they were sitting there. And you have no clue if they're holding that or not. It, it was it was close enough that you had to make sure that that was happening in the right place and so soup had to peek that and hariri has just been lights out with the operator of this game ever since hariri missed that first shot i don't think they've missed another one no they they, they took that first shot to heart <laughs> quote mj uh, and i took that personally yeah really he, he's response. hit everything from this point uh, headhunter shots right uh the, the sniper shots it, even that that 2v what, what, what was it that 1v3 on the b site to hold the site long enough for tony to try and even get into the two uh, the 1v1 right to even think about getting close really well done rona isn't caught that sh that paint shells is going to do a good chunk of damage it's actually going to even kill tony going into the round Fuck university's defense so far I mean, it's been great. It was a solid play from Jorona. Got trade. caught out, but the trade Last was fantastic. Oh, Konichi, you gotta wait for the angle. I understand. The pop-up pops up. Trademark detected. And then... The great <laughs> thing's here to shoot it immediately, but you gotta wait a little bit longer. Clark University, take the pistol round. Dropping just one player. Fantastic round. Yeah, 
y you know what? Like, that's what they need to get into this and kind of like get onto a little bit of a run, right? Brycliffe didn't wasn't able to do to get onto like a big run, get onto a, kind of a big lead with their defender side. Clark needs to come out of the gate really strong, get the first two or three rounds, and then move from there. I feel like Clark University has a a lot, a lot, a lot of things going for them. They have a in my opinion, a little bit more of a defensive composition. And on Bind, which is pretty defensive sided, I think they have a little bit more of an advantage over BCU. Spike down A. Soup having the Bulldog. Soup has been a player that has been the unsung hero of this game. A lot has been going on for Soup, but they haven't had too many flashy plays. One enemy remaining. Yeah, I mean, they're long. We, we may be at the point where Soup should just be named Stu instead. Flashy, but full of substance. Like, not flashy, but full of substance. Here. Yeah, like, it's a, it's just like some Chuck Soup. I mean, tw 12 and 8, that's nothing crazy, but those five assists have absolutely showed effective. Uh, and everything that basically everyone on the defending side right now that they've done has been effective, right? You see Scarecrow at the bottom scoreboard. It doesn't matter because Scarecrow's flashes have been super good, right? You saw, you watched him, um, you watched him in a couple rounds ago, just using the flashes to get into a lot of sites really quickly. Both guys have been particularly like high on the scoreboard as Zorona goes in and grabs two kills with the judge super quickly. Neither Sky I think has been like super impactful in the kill department, but you watch the the Briarcliff Sky just absolutely help Hariri to the highest degree with those flashes on that that one v the the two v two that they had on the A site to close out the half. Um, so everyone's been super effective yeah. this game. Ball smoke goes up, securing, concealing Scarecrow, but now it goes down. <laughs> Hariri sees the gun barrel, and there's no shot that Scarecrow stays alive for that one. I don't know if they had any utility to save themselves either. Red carpet onto the A site if BCU decide to take it. Yeah, it looks like they are. I think they've yeah. got someone watching their flank. They don't yet, but Tony should turn around in a second to make sure that they're not getting brought up by the side. Okay. Looks like Konichi's going to be the first one to move towards U-Haul. Enemy punished. So Riri. much for the flank watch. Yeah, Riri Riri goes down really quickly. Konichi oh. is going to get killed by Soup. There's a really good retake already. Ain is going to take down Tony. And within three seconds, the flank is the operative use here on uh, getting everything back. Fuse comes out, and and I, I understand the vision of Clark University. It was a three versus three. They were super nervous because this... Oh, sorry. BCU had a lot of space taken up, and they were playing a little bit nervous and a little bit standoffish, but I mean, I completely understand this Clark side has been really ratty. I mean, Hariri was just casually hiding behind a box and happened to get two kills a couple of rounds ago, so you have to play very, very carefully. And there's been so, so many little nooks and crannies that these players have been able to hide in a BCU. That ultimately ended up being their downfall as they just took Toxins way too up. long to get that spike down. Took long enough for the flank to really get set in stone. Oh, goodness, Rona. Kang wasn't off. spotted there for a second. The shots, the shots actually were the thing that gave Kang away. Scarecrow's gonna take down Hariri. This is looking real quickly like a Clark University round. Zorona set up. Nice shot from Zorona taking down Milk. It's a two on four. This is leaning towards probable at this point. Almost impossible now. Tony's the last one alive. He's got the bomb on his back, but the site is still being held by Zorona. That's what I'm talking about. The smoke goes down. And what does Drona do? Grenade. Doesn't peek off. Drona hides in the smoke. Has a shot with the op. How did they even get there? Did he go down? I No, so Hariri's still alive. I just don't know how Drona has an op. Yeah, he just had it. He's had it the whole round. Are you? They, they used it specifically for this, this whole round. I think it, my, my guess is maybe Zorona had a spawn or something that was just like, hey, I'm going for it. Um. Yeah, Jorona, Jorona, Jorona just has the op. Typically, it's the chamber, but this time it's the duelist. And I mean, I 
don't hate the pick. Jonas seems to be popping off with it, so. Yeah, the, the 3k power. this last round. He hit everything with it, too, right? I think so. No, that wasn't a question. He hit everything with it, other than that that last shot on the on the Tony to start it. But like, he hit everything. Frey's gonna take Duck Hang to start. Aim with the trade right back. A little bit of a sky kerfuffle there with the uh, with the birds. Well divided. Shots coming out. Nice shot from Ain. Divide as well, and Ain has been oh so good. This Cosmic Divide is going to make things a little bit more complicated because you're going to have to push through it. It's perfect for... It's perfect for B, which is where there's a lot of the action happening. It's not so great for A. It's honestly more of an offensive Cosmic Divide. Kind of like a yin-yang sort of thing, but whenever the entirety of BCU is chilling out over near the B site, I completely Didn't begin understand here. why. Still, yes. two of the CU players over at B, and the spikes going down at A. Er, yeah. Got those flipped around. They need to rotate now. Yeah, so I, I believe it's Ain was over on B. That hold on, they may be on the other side. Uh, just ran over to A really quickly. Ain's got four in the round, by the way. He's got like absolutely no health. Well, did for a second. Scarecrow's gonna take the Ace away. That's brutal, but you know what? A win is a win. That puts. Uh, that puts Clark University on 11. One round off a of match point. I'm not 100% sure on how the economy is looking for Briarcliff. I think it not exists. Um, I don't think it's great, though. Yeah, it, it looks like it. Yeah, that's exactly how it is. Like, <laughs> sure, it's it's there. I mean, Freight can buy up. Konichi yeah, I mean, can buy have up. A, they have a buy this round if they want. Right there, Lois is going to be milked on this Guardian. Uh, Tony will probably go with Spectre. Hariri can activate the Tour de Force, um, which helps him out a little bit more. That's exactly what they decide to do. Awkward buy for Brad Cliff, but I mean, they've made these happen in the past. Yeah, I was going to say, I think they need to use speed here, and you saw right away Zorona was just Spike down instantly down. into the site. Sorry, Freight was instantly into the site. Oh my goodness. Oh, milk. Flank comes out really, really quickly, but it's not able to do anything. As now Clark University swings around. Trigger discipline. Oh, not down, even a. needed. There could have been an extra kill, but Scarecrow oh, is contempt with one. It, the spike's still not down. It's a 2v2 and the spike is still not down. Rotate. This is the smart play. Briarcliff going to run over to the B site, but they're going to get met on it by the Viper. Yes, yeah, so Spike gonna get will... this down. Spike will go down here. You see Freight putting it down, but now it, like this is really close now. Um, Freight just doesn't have much armor to use in this. Last He's already got this really forward position. Hariri's got taking down Scarecrow. We've seen Kang do a lot already. This Viper wall from the Jackson's earliest bits down. of the round is going to be a helper to start, but Hariri is able to take down Kong as the Viper Hello, wall ready. fades. 7 11. Thrifty. It's a thrifty was talking about they've done it before and they need to do it again that they have they keep themselves afloat and more importantly they keep keep clark university off of match point which is very very big once a team gets on match point that just kind of kicks things that into works. overdrive and it really does not help up the metal just looking up at that 12. i mean especially the longer the comeback is five isn't terrible help. But yeah. you need to get five rounds in a row while staring at your opponent's scoreboard, and it just has that glooming 12 up there. Yeah, I mean, right now it's just 11, which is helping, I think, everyone on the everyone on the surface out. I've got your trail. I like super grass in here. I, oh, Konichi, Konichi, peek it, peek it, peek it, peek it, peek it. Okay, it wasn't good enough. That's not good enough. It's always next time. Yeah. Unless Clark University just keeps the kills coming, soup is able to get the better of Konichi. It takes them a while, but they do eventually got it. Ain gets timing. Planted. Scarecrow just gets outgunned. And a site is up to the discretion of Briar Cliff. Retake's got to come in with a Raisin Viper. Yeah, I mean, it's a 2v3, but they should go for this retake. They had enough money. There. They have, like, just, just enough up. money to be able to buy next round. I think this is worth it. Even just so, to get mean. guns out of the hands, it's worth it. And Kang is trying to play it, spraying through the box. The snake bite's going to be massive, unless oh, they whiff. miss it. Last player then it's here. not. And now it's Kang left on one versus two. Remaining. The shots no, land as well. You 
got to watch behind you, and Milk will secure the round out. Briarcliff shortening the gap even more. Okay, so remember when I said he knows where they all are? I meant he knows where they all are other than yeah. Milk. Yeah. Other than uh, Milk. Who, 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 he had no clue where they were. Uh. Okay. You know, okay. that snake bite could have been absolutely massive. Another thing, the streak of Clark University there at the start was absolutely fantastic. This game could very possibly supposed to be close, but Briarcliff just got a really rough start off the rip with, I mean, talk about Briarcliff having rough starts. A casual shot with the Tour de Force. Riri has been excellent with the Optus game. Which is like legitimately excellent. Time to hunt. Okay. Scout destroyed. He sizes the target of attack as out comes the utility. They have to go through that wall. The flash. Oh my Lord, Lord Kang! Oh, Lord has down, a B. double, but it's going to be Kang that really starts popping yeah. off. Eleven bullets. Can they find the fourth? Hariri slow peeking around, to the able to land that shot. Oh. Ain is there for the trade. Oh. It's going to be map point. Clark University just one more round Match away, point. and they will have this map one in the bag. Not only is it one more round away, but they got so much money in that round from just stuff they picked up. And absolute vice versa for Briarcliff. They're going to have to try to force this up with little to no money. Not they are way. stacking no paper. Milk going to go with a Guardian. I mean, I'm assuming Guardian is going to be pretty much the consensus buy. Yeah. But Riri is able to I'm buy up, but that's completely it Teleport yeah ready. i mean you theoretically could have gone for something maybe like uh respective full armor uh, if you thought you were gonna be a little bit more aggressive but i think they want to trust a little bit more in their aim here oh my great got that that's, i guess that's so okay so viper's pit down it's it, they're at a disadvantage already so that's the attacking viper's pit and the defending viper's pit both down but the defending viper's pit One on the wrong remaining. side and it will just be the defending viper now looking to retake four v one hanged a lot of miracles last round he got that 3k to put them in a good position to get the round will he be able to do anything more this round yes he will it's called saving i mean this is the right choice no it's definitely the right choice yeah, for, for sure. There, I mean, BCU already has the thrifty round in the bag, so you might as well not even give them any more because you don't know if all four of them have a Vandal, so just try not to give them a fourth if they don't. Save it up. Nowhere close to the Viper's Pit, so there's no reason to die. You're going to have enough money to get everything up. You didn't use any utility. Saving is a perfect play for Kang. And now, as we go to round two, number 22... CU can start to try to restart and try to try it one more time. Twenty-one and eleven for Hariri. Twenty-five and eleven for Ain. The chambers have been the way to go this game. Maybe just one more round of popping off from these chambers, and it's GG. Side of Ain. That's all it'll take. How does that not Spike kill Thrait? 31 HP is what is left. The judge at close range does not one-tap that. What in the world? Not only that, but his healer is still alive. So look at that. HP just got topped off completely for Freight. Any of the bad from that interaction is all gone. Healed up. Bandages on. Got the spike. This nebula is looking to cause some problems for this attack. It kind of counts as a one-way for both teams. It's more, honestly, in favor of BCU, which is not ah, what the Astros nice wanted shot to do. Freight. Fantastic. Soup is still holding it out. Can they catch one? They get a headshot. There's quite a few players that are low on the Briarcliff side, but they still have the one-man advantage. Toxin's Gotta be got careful Kang with Kang, right though. Yeah, Kang. Oh. Kang's holding it out. Screen down. I'm not sure if Freight knows. Down it goes. It's one, one it's remaining. two, it's the third from Scarecrow. Spike is down, but Hariri is all the way over there. All they gotta do is smoke it off and watch the drop. Spraying through, trying to land the shot to deny. They oh, no, gotta the reload! 
Defenders win. Unbelievable! Oh. What an insane finish. What an absolutely insane finish to that, right? Just the balls right there of Milk to just hold. Um, uh, yeah, from Milk. Not Milk. I'm sorry. From Scarecrow to just hold four, hold the bomb, hold to make sure the spike gets diffused. Do not dip in the face of danger from Zorona. Ooh. Fantastic Ooh. map. I mean, that one absolutely delivered. And the ending was fantastic. There was so, so much going right for the side of Clark University. And all of a sudden, Hariri jumps down they're the last one left they're trying to run over there they're trying to save the site they're trying to save the entire game and they do they get the first kill they are able to spray transfer and what else then they run out of ammo all i'm gonna say it wouldn't have happened with a phantom <laughs> we will be right back for map two of this series after a quick break Welcome back, everyone, to MEC Valorant Saturday Edition. You're watching our game of the day. I don't know if they did a game of the week yesterday, so I guess it's the game of the day. Yeah, uh, we had we had a pretty <laughs> we had a pretty good game yesterday, but I mean, this one has all the makings of possibly topping that one. If you're just tuning in, we're getting ready to start up map two, which is going to be Haven. Map one was on Bind, and Clark University won that thirteen to I believe it was nine. Yep, it was a lot closer than the other games we had seen this morning. No, uh, no funny business in this one. Uh -uh. Um, we're gonna get right into Agent Select here on Haven, which is map number a dose for us here. <clears throat> We've got most of the defending side already locked in. Uh, we have some definite, definite interesting things as comparative uh, to the other Haven games that we've played that we uh, watched this morning. Uh, oh, breaches oh, on both oh, sides. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but like, let's start with breaches. We have a fade. We have a solvo. We have a kill. This is totally different than what we saw this morning. It really is, and we're gonna have to we're gonna have to see if the composition as well because yep. the the Odins were absolutely insane. If 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 you were not there for that, you you missed out. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. No, there you were should go like, watch that game. Yeah. To after, don't 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 break it up. This one though. If you watch the first one, watch this one first, and then yeah. go back to it. But we, there was like I want to say a, at least fifteen Odins. Yeah, there was a Phoenix handshake in that game where both teams just decided to pick Phoenix. Um, I, it, weird game. It, yeah, it was but so odd. I think your I think your Odin un estimation is a little under. By the way. Because we had like four Odins for like seven rounds in a row on just the defending side. That it's insane. Really It'll depend on how many how many Odins were like bought. It, it, we're talking about like Omens bought. I would say it's probably around like I don't know, you know, probably actually twenty. That yeah. is a lot of money. That is over what? That's like what? What would it be? Sixty thousand creds over just Omens or Odins? That's a, that's a lot. That's, that's a, lot, a lot. You could buy like three ops for that yeah you could definitely buy three ops for that i mean if we want to do the do the conversion no no, no. You, to, uh, you, you buy at least three ops you don't need to do any at money. least three ops you know what? Right. Yeah, that's like that's like two football fields worth of creds is, is that how we measure it with kong getting the first kill konichi with the nice trade after but goes down instantly to scarecrow something i want to point out real quick because we already saw it once Fade and raise on A long is going to be a menace. Uh, the fade, the fade pull, at plus the raise nade is disgusting. Yeah, can be I, really I, disgusting. if you get caught in there, you're dead. I'm excited to see that combination come out. Oh, well Scarecrow. done, Scarecrow. Uh, caught out. Layer standing. Shots can't land. Long grenade for one enemy remaining. It's up the soup. It's a nice headshot, but there's still one more left, and I don't know if they'll have enough time to deny. They're going to have to land those shots, and thankfully for them, they do. With just three HP left, Clark University take round one. Really, really nice shot from Soup. Incredibly nice shot from Soup. He was one of the players in the last game that we did not give enough credit to. Um, really stabilized the team on the Astra, playing the Killjoy here now. Placing sentry. 
Now the anti is gonna come up and it seems like BCU is gonna try to apply a little bit of pressure. They got a Marshall and a Spect and a, a Stinger yeah. actually. Not gonna try to go all out for it. I mean, it'd be a little silly to do that, but they're definitely gonna try to push him back a little bit. Maybe pull go. off a couple of guns. Be a little bit of a help, but Jonah has no intent of letting that happen. First kill goes there easily. Yeah, Milk's seen crossing over, and we'll see what the Breach wants to do with this. We saw Breach work out really well on Split this morning, right? Um, this is the first time we're seeing Breach on Haven today. I really... I, I'm a little unsure about this pick. It's not... It doesn't feel as good to me as the uh, the Breach on Split does. I, I've played my fair share of Breach on this map, and it does feel good, but both teams picking Breach seems a little uh, awkward to me. Yeah, I definitely see that. Spike's gonna go down. 45 seconds to go. There's Spike a planted. bit of a health discrepancy on the side standing. of BCU. Last player standing. On the side of CU, I mean. Oh, I'm sorry, Hariri? Only at 40 HP, but now they're at 0 HP. Hariri, the sniper god, popping off, and now we're left with a KJ battle. I'm not Swarm sure if out. there is a Swarm Grenade. Well, just got popped, so there obviously is. Hariri shoots down the turret. Soup could try to long swing this. They have enough to tank the first shot. Hariri gonna double tap. Oh, Hariri doesn't know that Soup is close. Oh, this is this is a loss round for Hariri. And ah, no. I thought I thought there was a knife. I thought that was a knife. No. I, Everyone, note down your Soup observations. Again, let's run go. it again. Okay. Soup decides to be a good sport. Yeah. I fully expected the knife. I'd like to really quickly point out that we have no Odin buys yet. <laughs> we have it, and it, it is really important to point out, if you were with us in the last match, uh, that we have not yet gotten an Odin buy. Uh, I would like to keep it that way. <laughs> yeah, we do, we do not have we do not have any Odin, but we do have Big Hammer on the side yeah. of Park University. That knife is really nice. Well, it's not a knife, it's a hammer. I mean that's true, but it's 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 the it's the Spike melee. Down, button. see. Yeah, but that, you cannot call me a knife. That's I guess so. I We're guess doing a lot so. of Norse Norse god stuff here today with the Odins and Spike yeah. and stuff. So I'm a fan. All right, back, back to the match. We <laughs> got a kill on Zerona. Nice shot from Ain onto Dude. Tony. To try and take another one enemy a little remaining bit by his good friend, but Bring nothing's gonna really come of that. Milk takes down Ain. Soup. Kill onto Freight. Soup's just sitting here in the cubby oh, waiting for something to happen. The haunt shadow comes through. The aftershock now. Remaining. Nice first kill onto Kenichi, but Milk will take down Soup fairly quickly after. And there's BCU's come first round on. of the board. Take him out. There's no other agent. That can clear out Cubby as effectively as that. Not I mean, you could try it. to hey. use a gravity ash or a gravity no, no, no. by Astra. You could try to use the Nova no, Pulse, but no window. you're thinking just through it. Brimstone Orbital Strike. That clears right. it out real good. You're right. <laughs> you are right. I, you Mech, I will absolutely give you that. I, I'm thinking too small, but I mean, he, he, while, we're, small while we're also talking about it, you also got the Hunter's Fury. You also have the Rolling Thunder. You also have the Lockdown. You also have the Showstopper. There's just so I'm just saying, you're thinking so you're small. Uh, and and the Fade Raise combo is actually super deadly in that cubby too. We talked about it here uh, for what they're trying to do here towards a long, but a anywhere where there's a small area, that combo is deadly. That's very trying true. To get there. We're trying to take some shots down to see long through the smoke, just trying to get a little chip damage. We see that uh, Raze is already up here, going to get shot down by Kenochi. They don't know about him. Freight is able to get one Kenochi with another trade. Zorona, two on the round, making sure that his teammates are not dead for no reason. Scarecrow's going to throw the recon bolt out. We'll see what they can see. Nothing yet. Tony's going to take down Zerona. That's the only one that's gotten close this round. Scarecrow standing. with one, but not Spike for long. Eight. Tony takes down Scarecrow. Two not on there. one left. Tony trying to get back up into heaven before he gets shot at. He will. Yeah. Now, Supa had a clutch earlier on. You know, one versus, I believe it was one versus three. Can they do it again? Oh, they saw the head of Tony. I don't know if it registered. 
holding the marshal is Hariri. The shots does not land, so Tony has to get the job done. That'll be yeah, a 3k. I, Tie I us on up. I think I don't think they saw Tony. I think it was just kind of shifts in the night kind of stuff of like they were just looking up there to see and they couldn't see him because uh, Tony was super far back in heaven, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Might have saw a little pixel of the head, but either way, I don't think that soup noob. So either way, it didn't matter if you see him or not. Ooh, two two. This game's gonna be close again. It's got all the makings of it. Placing sentry. I mean, we got a potential way. for a map three if this game keeps going the way it is. Ah, so you might just be able to take this. Oh, oh that's a play from shot. Milk, completely negating the blade storm with just the big iron. Briar Cliff, perfect start up by one, and CU had so much potential going into this round, and now it's all been shut out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Milk is just double lift in disguise, and I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just Jinx from Arcane. That was a really long convoluted tag. I'm sorry for everyone that had to listen to that. I, I believe this. Stealing sight. All of the CU players connected by one paranoia they gotta somehow find a way out of this kill box but tony and konichi gonna team up ain is the last one left takes konichi for the road but there's nothing afterwards briar cliff now three in a row Clark university able to buy up yet again this is technically the first full rifle round and we have it we have it mac we have oh, it god no. Is it, is it staying out? Are we sure that it's actually out? I I saw it. I I don't I don't care if it's staying out or not. We saw it. I don't think it is. I think we're clear. I think everything's okay. Cover, so it might up. not be staying out, but it's, it's <laughs> oh, there in our hearts. <laughs> the bad man can't hurt us here. <laughs> All right, we see the rolling thunder come down. See long. Hariri is gonna be watching here for Supa. We'll turn away, and the fight goes on long. And sweet. Jump away from it quickly. Hariri now has to deal with two. Zorona is pushed in. Hariri does take down the soup. Trey goes through. Tony with two, though, onto Zorona and Scarecrow, meaning it's a 4v2 here, trying to hold the site with just the two people. Cubby Showstopper going to try. Remaining. Won't connect on anything, but Freight and Milk take down the last two Clark University players. Briarcliff grabs a fourth round. Gives up the defuse for Konichi. I don't think it's really even needed though because all three of them have their ult if I'm not mistaken. I believe that is correct. Yeah, plus the lockdown of KJ, so BCU is in a really nice ultimate spot. Their economy is looking good as well, as well as just their momentum. They've gotten four rounds in a row. Three for three is the name of the game for Briarcliff. Clark University has had quite a tough time keeping up. Yeah, they uh... I believe that the raise from BCU side Placing actually did have their ultimate last round too, so it's not that they're super out of it. They use the showstopper to try and clear out C Cubby. Oh, retake. Freight has oh my freight's got three. Konichi's able to take down the last two in the round, but what a quick round there for the fade and the raise combo. It's the buddy ace, the full house, whatever you want to call it. Three kills for one, two for the other. Konichi and Freight. Perfect placements. And Clark, once again, they have to eco up. Scarecrow deciding to break the full sheriff by. Well, Everyone else has a sheriff in light, and Scarecrow deciding to go with the silent option, the ghost. I mean, that's okay, because the sheriff is a scam. Uh, that, I have never agreed with you more. The sheriff is just actually a scam. Uh, there is nobody who's actually good at using the sheriff. I do not believe it. It is a waste of $300. And I say 300 because the ghost exists at 500 and it's just way better. We're going to pretend that those two kills uh, did not come in. That the that Clark University hasn't gotten three kills this round with Sheriffs and is making it particularly close. We're, that, that didn't happen, okay? Just pretend you didn't see that. Shadows traveling. We'll see what Tony can do here with the Vandal, a real weapon, against uh, the fake Sheriffs of if you Clark wanna... University. I'll argue with you One a little bit more. I think the sheriff is a waste of $800 because the classic's free. Yeah, but the ghost is real good. 
But the classic's real good. I no, I understand that, but like the ghost I is love right there. The ghost is, the ghost is so satisfying to get a headshot with. The sound that it made, like, I and I can I can get you buying the ghost. I get you buying the frenzy. Get don't buy a sheriff. Don't do it. One versus two. Fred has the showstopper available, so this round is a little bit more winnable than it might seem. 150 as well. That is One going to remaining. land as well. And they're smoked off. That's going to get half, but it's a one way. The feet are seen. To win. Actually, it's the opposite. No, the feet weren't seen, so they knew exactly where they were diffusing from. Only that is, they could be diffusing from. That is a genius smoke from Kang. It lulled into a sense of false security there. Smart, smart move. Clark University able to get away with one. It was a solid Anyone play from Briarcliff's defense, but it wasn't solid enough. Better luck next time. We'll see what they can do here on the Clark University side. I like Hariru with the op. Not on a very standard op agent. Um, but you know what? Screw it. I'm in for it. I'm here for it. Down. Seaside is wide open. Hold on just one sec. Yeah, Haribi's looking for it, and that smoke from the omen comes through. Hang actually is there. Opted to use the from the shadows. You should early. run. Dueling, Dueling lockdowns. Yeah. Fantastic. This is going to force both of them away, so they're going to meet at about the same Aries? time. Yeah. Hariri barely gets away, zero players detained, but now they're gonna you. run back and BCU was able to get there first. But it seems like is gonna try a little bit of a longer defense aim back into a corner, almost able to get a second, but at the moment it's BCU with one player up. Oh, he's around Hariri! He has been so good with the operator this whole game. Nicely done from Hariri. This like last map as well on the chamber was setting just setting the other team down in blood from his operator and just continuing that right into this game on Haven. Back this one looks like we might just go to map three BCU off to a three round lead on Haven defense. Clark University left in the dust. Briar Cliff knew exactly what the assignment was coming into this map and now Clark is on a really awkward economy one more round no. one or two more rounds that is no charges. and that'll be pretty much it for the eco for the rest of the half crew here can do to try and hold the B site I said this earlier B site generally Worthless. not the one you go into but Briarcliff has got three in it already freight and milk the deadly duo grabbing three between them. And Soup and company back. just trying to make their way onto A now. Hammer out, trying to see if they can just block down some walls, break down some doors, make sure they can be in this site. And look at where BCU is. They're just all grouped up in B site. They're starting to move over now. As we see the oh, rays moving over down. through CT, down through sewers now. Gonna be a question of freight versus Kang here. Sneaking up the smoke might just have been at just the right time. Freight, awkward position. Kang was ready for it and uses the teleport to get away. Milk somehow and still the has up. Gotta be careful about the player above. I think Soup might have saw it. Gonna One jump down remaining. and land the easy frag. That's it. That should be the round right there. One enemy remaining. The has got needed. one. He doesn't have the time anymore. That operator from Hariri has continued to be deadly, but it won't be getting taken into the next round. Question is, will VCU have the money to buy it back? That it is. It's been a win condition. It's gotta be close. It, it's been a win condition for this game. Yeah, it is a little bit more than the op should be, but you know. It is. That's how BCU is playing. That's how CU is kind of crumbling to it. 
and it looks like they can buy the op up however they have to forfeit quite a bit of other resources they don't have to resort to the glass cannon but they do have to resort to the plastic or wood cannon with the light shield and look at this aggression from briarcliff they're pushing up they know that they have the worst gun so they're gonna try to push up force the close shots able to get one for one but it has to make the retake go on there's a rotate going on over to the a side shadows traveling are covering going to be used to try and prevent this side take, but nothing is going to be stopping them. Ain and Scarecrow each with one kill through. Just two players left on the Briarcliff University side to try and get anything done in this round. Otherwise, it quickly becomes six to five. We're making it a Last lot closer. We said earlier that the attacking side is generally a little bit easier on this map, but right now it, it, it's looking like it could go either way, right? A six, six, half. I don't Last think favors either team right now. I would agree with that. It's honestly going to come down to the second half. And I mean, it's like, yeah, when it's 6-6, six, six, that's how it is. But there's not really any other way to put it. it doesn't really favor either team. Right, right now, they're playing very, very balanced, which is good. It is needed on a map like Haven or else you're just going to have a 9-3 half every single time on attack. Yeah. So kudos to both these teams keeping it balanced. Let's see if BCU can take this half and get that decider going into it, maybe get Cover 75. Off your feet! Going out. All going Thunder, a side yeah. red carpet. Oh, Scarecrow is going to try and do something, but Freight is not letting any of it happen. Ain has Flash out. a lot of work to do here to clear out the CT area. Harry, Harivri, sorry. Oh, the Scout is going hard. Flag as well. It's a double for Kang, but the showstopper is absolutely able to make something work. Milk is going to try to half this, gets it off, and the swarm grenade gets there. I'm not sure if that one dropped off. That might be good, it might not be. Milk's defusing, and I don't think it's going to matter. 7 5 is the tune. 7-5, and I mean, Switching like, sides. realistically, this is still anyone's game. We say this is a little bit of defensive side and map, but, like, the game, the, the map has been out for so long that a little bit, like, this is not incredibly rough for, uh, sorry, an attacker side map. This is not incredibly rough either way. This is, this is anyone's game still. This pistol round means so much to try and get uh, a little bit further on for Clark University. Yeah, absolutely. And when this map first came out, it was incredibly attacker-sided, if you remember that. But as the meta changed, there was more agents added. It slowly became a little bit more defender-sided. And, I mean, it's still pretty balanced. But at the collegiate level I've seen, it's still mostly attacker-sided. It's not quite made that flip just yet. Mm. We got to reread this Chilling out in the mid part of map. Oh, the stuff hit land and no, okay. Just like, a little bit cleaner with it. But like hear the sheriff propaganda here. Like, come on, tell me that you would have gotten that you wouldn't have gotten that kill if you didn't have a ghost or a class. Come on. Very good by the sheriff. One Aim enemy remains. See, look at what A can do with the ghost. Look at that. Okay. Ace. With the ace with the ghost. What an ace. Why buy the sheriff when you can use the ghost? Did you say something? <laughs> Sorry. Fantastic round. It was a very awkward start. BCU had the jump on the player, but the sheriff sells the entirety of Briarcliff, turns them away, and turns Freight to the Ghost, which just casually drops a little bit of an ace. I remember for one thing, I hope it is known that the Ghost is not the weapon to be using. Placing the Ghost is uh, not? I'm sorry, the Sheriff is not yeah. the weapon to use. Oh, that was almost bad. Uh, <laughs> Riri takes down Zerona real spike. early. Kang is able to get the trade right back. The aftershock is gonna try and prevent them from getting this weapon, and now the fate is gonna try and prevent them again from this weapon. Kang is sitting here with the sheriff, ready to see if he can get a player on the rotate. Ooh, I like this a lot. I like Flank. this a lot. Tony. No more. Ooh, Tony's head does not get seen, and Kang would have wanted a little bit more off of that excursion, but one is all spike that they down, get. Mid. I have the spike. Ain stays alive. Oh. A shot with the sheriff land the first time, but Kanichi gets away from the second one. Gun here. And now A side has a red carpet. Yeah, 
He's just looking to try and grab the Spectre to see if he has any hope in this round. A spike goes down it. instantly for me. They know where the last player is vaguely. Right, they know it's coming from B. They don't know which direction. It's just going to be from A long. They're working together to take back the defense side of A. Not planted for One, One player enemy. spotted. Remaining. Nice kill onto Kanichi through the wall. A nice kill onto Freight. Ain is able to take the round and bring it to six to eight. Clutch. Let's give it a clutch. Thrifty Ain able to switch out for a vandal as well. For a spin. It's an insanely clutch round. BCU had that pistol round and were hell bent on separating themselves from Clark University even more. But casually, Ain keeps their team in it. And would you look at that? Reverse of the pressure. Briar Cliff mm -hmm. now has to eco up. Hariri, of course, buying up with the Marshal. But everybody else going with Sheriff. Sir, as I call it, Mechatronics hatred. Yeah. <clears throat> there, there are very few things to know about me. In Counter-Strike, I think the FAMAS is a scam. In Valorant, I think the Agree. Sheriff is a scam. Agree. Uh, both are scams. Don't buy them. We'll get along. Ain can have a lot of work to do here very quickly. It looks like BCU is going to try and actually execute onto the B site. Sova drone going through is going to help down. reveal a lot. Paint shells through the haunt through as well. Dark cover to try and prevent anything, but it's going to mostly Fight prevent planted. Scarecrow from getting ship damage in through the side. Showstopper comes through, goes to shoot down Kang, but can't get anything so on it. Dead. The aftershock from Milk is going to actually take one down, and then the Sheriff will take another. Freight and Zorona trading kills between the two of them, and Ain is the last one over on this side. Last player and standing. Can't get anything done now, just the last player left alive. There's low one health players all remaining. over the place. Grabs the new ones of and Milk. Rolling Thunder comes through so quickly. And Kenochi is the last one alive. He's got not, almost no health. And the Fade is just looking to not get spotted. Gets shut down. Come on, and come Aim, on. two rounds in a row, gets the clutch. It's almost a double thrifty. Clutch. But no, it's a double clutch. Oh, there goes Aim yet again. Four kills on the round. We Give him a four-piece nugget with a side of fries. Fantastic. And now it's kind of the pseudo bonus round as PCU. Won the pistol round, but then lost the next two. So now they're on their kind of second bonus round of the half. It's an awkward buy situation, but you know what? BCU, they're not worried about it. They're still in the lead. They just can't throw too hard. We said this was still anyone's game, and I'm sure these last two rounds has really proven that point that it is really still anyone's game. Ain is not wanting to lose on this map. Shadows traveling. They don't. They want this to be a 2-0. They don't want to wait. They don't want to bring it to map three. That's awkward. But that, that's kind of hard to defend against. Sometimes, yeah. hey, sometimes your opponent's just lucky. It, it sucks, but it happens. Sometimes, goes down. sometimes your enemy's just having a good day. Exactly. So trying to get some shots through the edge of the wooden temple got door one. here. Hariri's got one on the Kang. Right, Cliff University is trying to retake this site. Last player standing. Keep the site held. And Clark is going to save. It. Yeah, Zerona is just going to save this operator. It's too valuable to try and retake this year. Which I think yeah. is the right call. Yeah, there's, there's, there's simply no shot for them trying to retake that. I mean, game time. You, you know that one. Uh. Oh, big jam time. Big jam time. No! Oh! One dream Dying. ends, another begins. What just happened? Zerona's dead. Zerona just died with an op! Well. I, that's I, awkward. Maybe they, maybe they just don't want the op? I mean, I haven't seen Clark play that much with it. And I mean, I, I understand it to get oh, it off of her Riri, but like... You're on defense haven, even if you don't normally play the op. This is one of the best positions to be in with an op. Yeah, I uh, I don't like this. I no, I understand, but I do not like it. Uh, Seaside execute. CU is on a really rough buy. 
Briarcliff's going to completely there run off. There's the classic going off. One Look at that. The there we have it. One one kills all over the place. It's 1v1. Oh my thrifty. goodness. Ace <laughs> wins out the shot. It'll be a thrifty. These arms are heavy enough. The worst part is we saw the first like no, no, kill and a half. Message. And then suddenly me, it was a one-on-one -on -one and neither of us had any clue what happened. I, I know exactly what happened. A lot uh, of kills. Yes, please. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. A lot of kills happened. Got a problem. I don't, I, what happened there? I, I, I don't know. All I know is that like there was one guy that we saw just big chilling in the corner with a classic getting a double kill, and then the rest. That's all you have to know. That's all you needed. This is round 18. We've got Drona Party chilling out in the corner. Can they get a double? Not quite. No. Milk's gonna grab it right back. It, and for all of the clutches in the last couple of rounds, this is still BCU ahead on this game. We'll catch them. Now this Back. is such a good lockdown. Spike didn't go down though. No, but they have not. to restart it now. Spike planted. The charges. They, they have seat. to restart that. That's gonna let out the defender lockdown. Yeah, just time for time for time. He uh. was able to grab Trevor. one on the start. Question is, will they? Yeah, they, they know where Tony is. They understand. The rolling Thunder, though. Miss the Rolling Thunder fear. missed them in the corner. Last player standing. But how come the knife They don't know about the sound. Over flick from Milk. Clark University is going to tie us up all the way at nine. So and Clark only dropping one player throughout that entire scuffle. And the weird thing is, so many of those players were on such low health. Sova, Killjoy, for each all were like 20, 30 health, right? They were all one shot. Nine to nine right now. It seems like it's a defense-sided map right now for both teams. Placing we'll see what they can do about that. This is where I would expect to see a timeout come through from BCU, by the way. Uh, we're not going to see it come through, but this round or the next round, if they lose, this is, this is timeout territory. I, I think the only reason why they're not calling a timeout is because they don't have that much money. They're on an eco round, so Buck University Shadows likely traveling. taking the lead. I say that very lightly, but likely. Very tepidly. Very, t exactly, because we see these. I'm sorry. Whoa, 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 why is Zorona there? What happened? I, I am not 100% sure. That is such an odd angle to hold. Why, why do you hold so far back? I mean, uh. oh, maybe because they don't want to close the, force r the close range. You can get a lot longer and a lot more unpredictable there. Yeah, it's weird to hold that. It's, far it is. Back. It is a. It is a weird angle, but I see like that that early in the round. It's weird to hold that far back. Ain is gonna grab another kill onto Milk. He has been the savior of Clark University this half. Cloudburst gonna go down. Doesn't really. Doesn't really do much. No one holding the angle that can be seen. That's better safe than sorry. BCU kind of back into a corner. They're going to try to push up through the garage. And Drona left. spots him, but it doesn't matter. Hariri is better with the shot. Close with the gap to just one player. Advantage for Clark University. Nice shot from A. Nice shot from A. Nice shot from A. Why not make it three alongside, alongside the kill in the opening of the round and there we see it there's the timeout i'm out briar cliff absolutely expected and i'll tell you mech the fall from grace for this briar cliff team has been outstanding it was a seven five half i believe yeah seven five to start this half and since that point it has been a five two run from clark university and and briar cliff got the pistol yeah, that's that's the weird thing. Briarcliff had the pistol, and then it was and then Clark University um, just boom, boom, boom. No, like, wait, no. Let's give proper credit to Clark University has been doing great. It has been the Ain show this half. He got clutch after clutch after clutch, three clutches in a row. I don't even know if we count the last one, but he got three clutches in a row to be able to win out to get his team into a commanding lead, not a commanding lead, into a lead right now. I mean, it might not be commanding yet. But with how the momentum is showing itself, it might as well be. CU 
putting themselves in a fantastic position on defense on an attacker side of the map. You know, Mac, maybe we're just wrong. <laughs> maybe this is defender sided and we're just crazy. Let's Someone just dance. didn't update me. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's all it is. Yeah, where's where's the update? Guys? Oh, that's a lot oh. of speed through freight, but Scarecrow isn't gonna get caught yet. Woo! We'll get caught now on Freight's wide swing. Question is, well, what will Ain do? Ain will get caught out real quickly from Freight. The rest of the team from Clark University is trying to do something. Kang's got one inch around, but Kanichi is able to trade back onto him. Soup trying to spray Spike wildly planted. from the smoke, but nothing will come of it. It's all left up to one player, and that's already the save call. It's instant. Yes, it is. 1v4, don't want to give BCU any more than they already have. No old points, no money. Want to keep as much as you have, and would you look at what they have as an operator. Now, let's see if they die to the spike again. That's that's what I'm going to be watching for, because I know that last time they died to the spike. I don't know if it was an accident. I don't know if it was intentional just to get it off the map. All I know is that they did. Seems like they're going to survive this yeah. time. They they want to keep the op. That shows me that last time We're was an accident, which is the best. Don't mm -hmm. any of you un really unfortunate. Like, we didn't. We thought it was on purpose. The fact that that was an accident is absolutely heartbreaking for CU. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Mecca, we had so, so many rounds that were just complete waffle in the first series, and now we get an absolute banger. This could end in a 2-0, and it would still be a banger. Exactly. That's the thing. It's right, not this, even going to need a map three. It's second, already so good. The second half of this map has been a massive question. How do you play Breach on this map, right? It, it, we, we talked about it earlier that, like, the first time we watched this map, the, the, the Phoenix handshake, a little nice weird. Time. First and second time we watched the match. The Breach handshake. A little weird. Uh, I'm in. Both times we've seen Breach pick today. Uh, the first on Split, the second time here, has been a really good representation yeah. of where Breach is in the current meta. It is. Snap back to reality. And look at this. Clark University has such an upper hand right here. Unexpectedly, Soup in a rough spot. Let's the seas kind of take him down, take him away. Rolling thunder, and oh, there we the see the Konichi. play comes out again. Konichi, however, fantastic one play. Remaining. Aim 30 gets left. one, lands three, three. two, two, all aboard the aim train. He's so good. He's just so, so good this good. map. He has been so good this map. He was so good in the last map too. Right? He, he was playing the chamber in the last map, making sure that, you know, like his team just got the shots that he needed. He was so good on that chamber. He's taking over the breach roll and he's doing it well this map. The breach plays today have been on another level. Re a petition to rename today as Breach Saturday. Satchel out. Satchel out. Can we get that as like a national holiday? Cover going on. Hey. Breacher day. Breacher day. Breacher day. That, I like that. I like that. Uh. All right. Let's see what the the rest of Briarcliff University can do here to try and get something done. Right? They have not had a huge amount of, you know, help on this half. It's been three to six. Three. Three to six. Three to six in terms of the scoreline so far. Uh, and for Clark University being on defense, that is sensational stuff. Masterclass right here. is the only Boy, way to describe it. Out comes Hunter's Fury, able to get one. There's a lot of lineups there. They're able to tag yet another fantastic way to start this round off, Spike it'll planted. give them the early health advantage. Terminated. And Soup catching Tony on the runaway Face will give them fear. a man advantage. Nightfall gets popped out to no avail. Soup pops off, gets standing. one more, gives it up to Kang, thanks to the flashpoint. And Drona gonna try to stick this out, not even needed. Who else but Aim to land the last frag, put him on match point. Not just, 
<clears throat> not just map point, but match point. Like this, this, and and this was a a game that we were not sure that Clark University could come back from. Like it was looking kind of hopeless in the beginning. Like yeah, they were kind of close point. halves, but they were not. They were not in the way that we wanted it to be to see a really close game. And oh my, are they showing it? Ain with thirty. Dropping a casual little 30 bomb, and I mean, absolute kudos to Freight as well with 29. But this looks like it'll be the end of the road. Freight, Hariri, all of the BCU players, only one of them can full buy. One of them has a Vandal and Heavy. Everybody else has some sort of deficiency. I don't think we've seen Zorona alt this game. I'm just noticing this now. I don't, I don't think, think we've seen either. knives at all. I don't think flash so. Out. <laughs> nice flash from Ain to try and make some space. Oh, okay, oh, with two. Down, see. And TP out to make sure he gets out. Soup with the nanos from Grenade able to take one. Kenichi just sitting inside the smoke trying to see if anything can be done at this point. Hariri does grab Zerona. We will not see knives One this enemy round. remaining. Nice kill from Ain. And who else is it to end it? Just the fade left for BCU. Kenichi sitting right inside the smoke, and it's aimed to end Defenders it. 32 win. kills to finish it. 2 0 for Clark University. Oh! Conductor has an announcement to make. The AIM train has departed from the station, and it is a 13 to 10 victory on Haven. What a fantastic way to end it. Surprisingly, Freight is the match MVP due to the uh, Valorant. I'm overruled. System, but overruled. I'm, it's but aim. we're going to overrule that. It's, it's aim. 32, 14, and 7. Only one first blood, one plant, and two diffuse. But, I mean, the Wait. fault line, flashpoint, aftershock, and the I'm rolling sorry. thunders all speak for themselves. I'm sorry. He had five clutches in the second half. Right. That's he had five clutches. Insane. No other stat matters. It doesn't matter. The kills doesn't matter. He kept, he single-handedly brought Clark University back into the game. And kept them in the driver's seat for the rest of the game. Exactly. And I mean, the, sure, the ACS is higher for freight, but... Who cares? I don't AIM. care. It's, it doesn't it matter. It is absolutely AIM. Econ MVP, rating of 105. Best econ rating by 25 points, mind you. MVP is most valuable player. They do not win that game without AIM. That's no, it. That's all. They do not. AIM was so good. He was 12 kills above the second best player on his team. He was, like, what is that? 21, 23 kills above the bottom player on his team. But it, it, none of those stats matter. It's the clutch factor. He was the he was the guy that got them back into the game. That's it. That that that's the end of the story right there. You can go watch the vod of this of the, of this game that we just watched and. The second half, the first half of the second half, clutch after clutch after clutch after clutch. The first four rounds, three of them were won by Clark University, and they were all in clutches. He was ridiculous the second half of this game.